Hey guys, it is Friday and that means I am going to share what I picked up this week. So, this week I went to Target. I did not go to the Dollar Tree this week. It feels very, very weird. I might have to go in this weekend. <laughs> so you might have like an extra shopping haul sometime in the next couple days. But Target just put out all of their fall and Halloween stuff. I mean, I have six full bags right here. So I'm gonna stop chatting about Target and how awesome their dollar spot was and I'm gonna get into showing you what I got. First bag that I have here is actually all of their school slash summer items are 70% off. So I picked up a few things for my kiddos and myself. First thing I got was a notepad. I love these notepads. This was originally $3, but everything again was 70% off. So this one comes with the magnetic list pad. It also comes with a smaller pad of paper and a pen. Speaking of pens, I did pick up two packs of pens. Originally a dollar. There's two in each one. I'm pretty sure, yes, this one, both of them have black ink, all four of them. So both packages, it's black ink. I just love their, you know, like fashionable pens. Then I saw this pendant and I thought it would be super cute in my girl's room. Originally $3. Another thing that I picked up for my twins that are not in school yet, they stay home with me, these little bracelet kits. Each one was a dollar originally and they are friendship bracelet erasers. I thought that was super fun and I think my girls are going to have a fun time putting these together. Next up is a pack of stickers. There's 215 stickers in here. Price was originally a dollar. One, two, three, four, five. It has five different sheets of stickers in there. Then, last thing that I got that was 70% off, a whole bunch of gel clings. So the kids are going to have fun putting these on their windows. I'm not sure if I can stick these on the wall or not. We'll have to give it a try. But I got this Shopkins. This was originally a dollar. Dory, also originally a dollar. I got this big one that is Shopkins, and this was originally $3. This like medium sized one with a bunch of different fruit in there, originally $1. Big Ninja Turtle, originally $3. Big Lightning McQueen, originally $3. Like seriously, I have more. <laughs> Big Star Wars, originally $3. Big Paw Patrol, again, originally $3. And last gel cling is this one, super cute, another medium sized one with a unicorn, and this was originally a dollar. So that is everything that I got that was on like clearance out in the dollar spot. Now I'm gonna show you all of the new stuff that they have. I got three different play pack grab and go grab and go bundles. These were all a dollar each, and I love these. I put these in my purse whenever I'm going out with the kids because you never know if we might get like stranded somewhere or we're going to a restaurant and the kids are just super bored or even in the car if we hit traffic or we're going you know, long distance, kind of like a short road trip. These are just perfect. So they come with, oh, here we go, four crayons, 25 stickers, and a 24 page fun size coloring book. So I picked up three different kinds because I do have three younger ones that would enjoy these. Okay, if you guys have been with me for a while now, you know my kids love dig kits. If you guys are new, I'm going to pause here and invite you to subscribe, check out some of my videos. I do post every day, um, but my kids love, love dig kits. So when I saw these, I had to pick them up. These were each a dollar. And I just got, I think they had like a tombstone also, but I got the skull because I think they're going to like that more. Um, and it comes with some digging tools and then there's going to be a spooky surprise in the middle when they get it all dug out. So it's going to be fun. 
Look at these massive erasers on these pencils. I thought they were super cute. It's called a novelty pencil. They were each a dollar. I picked up four of them because I do have four kids. So I got this pencil with the spider on it. That's a huge eraser, like that is so big. Then I got this one with a cat. Pumpkin. And skeleton. Picked up this little sign. I have kind of like a ledge right next to my front door. And I thought this would be cute to stick on the ledge. That way every time I'm opening the door this Halloween for trick or treaters, they'll see this next to my bowl of candy. I thought it'd be super cute. So this is a, just a little sign that says trick or treat. And it was $3. Also, another sign that says trick or treat. This is gonna go outside of my house. I'm going to probably hang it on my door with like a command hook or something. But this side says trick or treat. And then this side, says sorry we are out of candy i thought that was perfect that way i don't necessarily have to because even if you turn your light off you know the universal rule for trick-or-treaters is if your lights are on you can trick-or-treat at that house well some years even if we turn our light off we still get people knocking on our door ringing on our doorbell and since we do have young kids who we do have a bedtime they go to bed especially if it's a school night it has been a little disruptive in the past. So I saw this and I was like, that is perfect. Now, no guarantee kids won't still ring the doorbell, but at least I know I'm doing everything that I can to let everybody know that we are out of candy. So this was $3. Then also this was $3. These are just blank books with like a haunted spooky house theme. But on the inside of all of these books, are just plain white paper. It's not lined or anything. These are awesome for, especially when you have little kids or again, just sticking in your purse if you're gonna be out with a pen or crayons or whatever to keep your kids occupied. They can color, they can use it as a sticker book. I just, I love these blank books. I've picked them up multiple times. This is the first time that I've gotten like the haunted house ones, but my kids love them. There are six books in here and each booklet has 16 pages in it. Look at these. I thought these were adorable. I think I'm going to have each of my little kids pick one out and they can keep it upstairs either in their room or out in their like loft area. But they do have little tea lights in them and they light up. They were $3 each. So I have the pumpkin, I have the cat, and then I might try to return this one or just buy a battery but I didn't realize it was already on the on position and the little white thing was out. So this one's already dead, but still super cute. It's a little bat. Another thing I pick up almost every single holiday, erasers. These are amazing for erasing. If you like the little erasers, I don't really like them to use as erasers because they're so tiny. Um, I just do a lot of like educational and fun activities with my kids with these. And they're only a dollar each. And I think there's 60. Yeah, there's 60 of them in here. So I do still have some Halloween erasers from last year. I picked some up. So I just picked up two packages because I don't think I have these ones. These ones are all pumpkins and these are all black little cat faces. And they were both a dollar each and they both have 60 erasers in them. Isn't that the cutest little pillow? I thought this was adorable. They do have quite a few different pillows to choose from. Um, I am not really big on putting out different pillows for each holiday. I love it. I love other people when they do it. I just, I haven't gotten, I haven't been picking up pillows and I should have picked up more. Once I brought this home, I was like, oh my gosh, I really do love it. So this is a shaped decorative pillow. It says trick or treat. It has these little tassel balls all around it. And I thought this would be super cute to go upstairs in our loft area. We have a little chair. I thought this would be super cute. And it was $3. I got a Halloween magnetic list pad. This was only a dollar. And it says, it just says to do on it. I got two candles. Oh my gosh, they smell so good. There was one and I can't remember which one it was, but it smelled pretty bad. But these ones smell so good. 
So this one is just black background with yellow stars all over it. And it says it's just a bunch of Hocus Pocus. Who loves that movie, Hocus Pocus? Love it. Give this video a big thumbs up if you love Hocus Pocus. And the smell is blackberry cider. Oh my gosh. Like it smells like Christmas, but in a Halloween candle. This smells so good. And then this one says, hello, beautiful. And it has an orange background with little black bats. And this one is vanilla pumpkin. Oh my gosh, like so good. I love these scents, love them, love them. These candles were $3 each. I went ahead and picked up just a little pot holder and kitchen towel. These, this set was $3 and it just says pumpkin spice everything because I love pumpkin spice. Favorite time of the year is when Starbucks has their pumpkin spice latte. I've actually found a couple like off brand that I make in my Keurig that are pretty close to Starbucks. So definitely gonna be repurchasing, repurchasing those this year just to save a little bit of money, but nothing like a Starbucks pumpkin spice latte. Okay, the last bag is more towards a fall theme. Everything else was pretty Halloween. Well, except for the kitchen towel. I guess that would be more fall than Halloween, but it was pretty orange. Um, but first thing I got, I love coffee, I love hot tea, and I love mugs. <laughs> so, and my favorite color is blue. So I saw this, I thought it was super cute. My daughter, my oldest daughter actually might use this more often than me just because she leaves every morning to go to school. Um, but it's a ceramic mug, does have a plastic lid with a little drink or a little you know, slit in it so you can keep the lid on and drink it. And then I love that it has, I'm not gonna be able to put this back on right now. I love that it has this extra bit of plastic or rubber um, to hold onto it so it's not super hot on your hand. But this was $3 and they had, gosh, I wanna say like five different ones. I really, I had to, seeing everything that I was already putting in my cart, I wanted to pick up more of these, but I restrained myself, if you can believe that. I only picked up one, but they had like five different patterns and they were all super, super cute. Picked up this fall themed sign. It was $3. It does have a little bit of rope here at the top so you could hang it up. Um, very easy if you did not want to hang it though and just use like command strips, you could totally just bend that down and just stick it to your wall like this. But it says thankful and it almost looks like it was, you know, like a cross stitch almost. But super, super cute. I loved it. I love the colors in it also. This was another thing that they had a couple different versions of. I just love this. Now they did have like a mint colored one that looked more like all year long use, but I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put just my seasonal recipes in here, like Halloween, like themed snacks and Thanksgiving and Christmas, that kind of thing. That way I'm just gonna pull this out during the holiday season, but I thought it was super, super cute. It's just a recipe 10 box. I might go pick up another one just because it's super cute and save it for like a future giveaway or something. But this was $5 and it comes with recipe cards. Does it tell me how many? Yes, 20 recipe cards, the box, eight dividers, and then an insert card. Oh, okay, this is what they're calling the insert card right here. So if you wanted to use this for something else, you could take this card out and write something else besides recipes on it, but super, super cute. You can see everything in there. Love, love this. Okay, last few things I picked up. This sign was $3 and it says, hello fall. I love, in my kitchen, I have a desk in there and it's where I like keep my recipes and most of the time that's where my laptop hangs out. And I had a sign that said, hello spring. When I saw this, I was like, that's super cute. I'm gonna pick it up. This was $3, I don't know if I said that, but it just has like a metal background and then it has like a faux wood cut out on top of it. Then I picked up these pumpkins and I'm gonna kind of like set them around the sign just to make it look a little cute. And these pumpkins were a dollar each. There's the tag off of one of them, but they're super, super small, no bigger than the palm of my hand. So I got this orange one and then these ones, this guy is itty bitty. And again, they were, they're all three, a dollar each. But these ones are kind of like, this is an olive green one, and this is more, it looks olive green, but like diluted with like white paint, if you know what I mean, in the same family, just lighter. 
So I got those as well. All right, you guys, that is everything that I picked up for from Target this week. I just touched my mouse, so my screen just popped on. Sorry if that's a little distracting. But that is everything that I picked up. I could not believe how much stuff my Target dollar spot. And again, all of this stuff was from the dollar spot. <sighs> love shopping at Target. So I was just overwhelmed at all the stuff they had this week. So that's, again, that's why I didn't go to the Dollar Tree, seeing how much I picked up here. But that is everything that I picked up. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and it wasn't too long. I tried to talk a little bit faster because I know I love explaining why I'm picking up the things I'm doing because that's what I like to watch. I like to watch other people's hauls, but I want to know what they're using those items for because that's what gives me the ideas, not just showing me the item real quick and then putting it down. I want to know what you're using it for. So that's why I kind of talk about what I'm using my items for. Anyway, here I go talking more and more. If you guys love Target, if you love the upcoming seasons, give this video a big thumbs up. If you are new to my channel, please think about subscribing before you leave. I do post every single day. It's not all shopping hauls. I got a little bit of everything going on. I will leave a link to yesterday's video up in the corner, and I will see you guys tomorrow with something new. Bye, guys. Yay.